Hello everybody here, Gapak5 here, <clears throat> doing an Empire Total War commentary here. Or live commentary, what I said. So yeah, I'm gonna play as Poland and Lithuania, so it's gonna be kind of like smaller armies, but... Um, but the thing is actually gonna be that we're gonna have much more experienced soldiers right here. This battle. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna move back my armor a little bit. Right so. So now I have moved back my armor right like this. And when I move back this army now So yeah, my general and another unit has a unit of, has a unit of wing two stars who are one of the best Cameraman on the game. I think the best cameraman who has a short ability. So yeah, these wing two stars have an epic, tremendous charge. So yeah, apparently they have nice short effects. Even if my general has one of these guys, and I also have four units of skirm of rifles, who are one of the best skirmishers in the game. Who almost any faction has who is pretty nice because if they didn't have rifles to attract that would be that would be much harder for them because rifles are nice troops. And then I have one unit of puckle gun, so I don't know why I, why I brought them. And and also one unit of 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 say a four inch mortar who are Fixed artillery who can shoot in a very long distance. I think they can harass enemy armor right now. I'm gonna put them in uh, persecutive shell. Persecutive shell. Have one unit of elite guards right here. These guys. So yeah, these are the best soldiers my army can offer. And I do all, and I also have lots of line who are very experienced. So yeah, my plan. So yeah, now we have then the bell. So now we shall move on. That means like moving our force forward, and that's for the sheep way. So our enemies is Sweden right here, and they got. A oh, tons and tons of line infantry. Yeah, really, tons of line infantry. Really got my mortars. I didn't order you to fire just that target. You know what target you'll shoot? Their line. Yeah. So turn off fire at well and then shoot the enemy because off fire at well will be most effective yeah that's one of the things you need to say about war keep the men off of fire at will keep all kind of artillery off of fire at will because then you can shoot at units that will make much more decisive roles like I heard enemy superior line and I want to shoot them because it will be hard for my mortars to fire at so I'll try to shoot these Heavy carry men. And these are the guys who carry the enemy general standard. That's what the enemy general is, so yeah. If I say I'm gonna target these guys, I'm gonna target enemy artillery. Then I do that. So artillery takes forever in this game to load. But now it's far out. So that's gonna try to hit the enemy artillery. But they're gonna be moving, so that would be hard for more artillery to hit. Yeah, because fixed artillery are much more useful. Well, that was a nice shell right there. Yeah. Killed more men than they can kill. So, moving artillery is kind of like hard to kill, so I will not try to kill this, guys. And. So, we can. Let's start with these guys. Uh, these guys right there, line. Sorry, it's just line there. So yeah, 
Now, now we are moving up our army right here, and I have my rifles in front, so we shall pin down the enemy with a nice rifle. There's a Turion helmet, so we will pin down my enemies, and then my infantry will shoot them down, and then my wing two swords will do some decisive flank shot. Yes, I hope so. Okay, now them is forming up right here, as you can see here, and we're now gonna fire at their artillery. Nope, we're gonna fire at the superior line infantry because that makes most sense. And we're gonna make it on quick line, sh no, per percussive because that's most damaging. So that shot missed, but one of the tricks I've learned is to shoot in front of the units you wanna kill. So then the, the shot will go right through, so that shot missed. Why do I wanna kill the superior line? Well, it's the most up unit in this battle. And also, it's the most important of all, because they're the superior line. They're the Swedish guards, right, in this battle. I have the guard unit, but they don't have it, you know that. So my infantry and artillery uh, are moving up now. And they are gonna go right there. I think I'd want a little bit further is better. Right there. Yeah. Okay. So this seems to shoot in my cavalry. And that's not okay with me. That's how we got so many kills right there. So I'm not happy about these kills. And I haven't gotten any kill, as you know. So we're gonna try to destroy that mimic right there. And that was a nice shot of me. And I'm gonna try to destroy the enemy artillery uh, real quick. I don't know what these hackapels to do right there, the hackapelita. But these guys think are mad. I don't know why, why it's so nice to count to do that. Yeah, I just, I just know what I'm gonna do against these guys. I'm just gonna show them a lesson of war. Yeah. I'm gonna show them the lesson of the art of war. This big lesson. You do never confront winged hussars like this. So look at these shells. Yes, seven winged hussars have been killed all over the battle. That's how inaccurate and ineffective. Well, they're kind of accurate, but how ineffective that kind of artillery is. So we'll unlimit our puckle guns. Even though they're pretty devastating when you use them right. So yeah, I will smash them with my wing cruiser shorts. And yeah, then they are actually fresher. And the thing about the Hakapolita that makes them light cab, I think is because they have light armor. So I think I will ignore the enemy artillery right now. For a quick time. Okay, we're gonna take these heavy cameramen. If I really want to. Because so now we have bloody carry fights. Who I don't want to be part of now. So our puckle guns are open here. I will show you pepper down the enemy because these are the old machine guns. But they are really not machine guns because they are not the gallery machine gun. So these cameras are chasing me. But I'm gonna get the bloody lesson for what and uh, what my enemies deserve when they chase the Polish army. So I will move up my light division right here. Nurse so a carry fight again. And I will try to actually fire off right here. Because I'm just gonna win the cat fight. I just know that by clear that. So I'm gonna move my cavalry up here. My general, as I rather said. So right there. So I need to be out of that me um like infantry field because then so look at this, I'm firing right here, and I think I'm actually killing some guys of the enemy. Who is it? Making me feel strange, because yeah, they do actually do that. So it seems the enemy is wrong, so it's getting some attention about my, my cavalry, who I definitely don't mind about. I'm just gonna do a huge flanking shot right there, for my cavalry. Because it seems the foot artillery are exposed now. Now I have the surprise for them right here. Uh, 
the, the surprise. So yeah, I should try to maneuver around them if I try, because they are not fast enough to catch me. This line are gonna be smashed. And I am just gonna smash right through the enemies. So now it's total mayhem right now. So I think these guys might be able to get a shot off before I run away, but that's not gonna be a nice shot. And these guys aren't even managed to do a shot because yeah. So why am I, don't I, am I not concentrated in the infantry battle? Because I have carry maneuvers to do. I'm shaking the whole battlefield. So I say this. I just shot right through here. So now I just shot right through the enemy artillery. So now the enemy artillery is now dispatched for a time. And that will give time for my troops to recover. So the artillery stroke. Legendary general. So yeah, rifles will completely mow down any kind of infantry unit that's not guards. So the enemy artillery is now fleeing because they don't have the cannons now. They have lost their cannons. Look at this. Look at this. Man. They have lost their cannons, but yeah. They're winning still, that's weird. So my Puckle Guns are right now winning decisively because Puckle Guns are not the unit to be reckoned with. And when you use them like this defensively, like a Gatling Gun, they can be a very nice troop to use. So let's zoom in. So yeah, I'm not so good about maneuvers in like Empire Total War, but like so... There's actually some basic maneuvers and tricks of this game. Oh god, that was a man. Like this. So, yeah, one of the, the maneuvers you need to do when you have longer cab, like hussars and so forth, is to run right through in line. Because that will make them, them, they concerned about attack in rear feature, who will make them even weaker. And with the following infantry fire that they're taking, these guys like now taking lots of infantry fire. So yeah, guard fire, and then comes cavalry with launches and so forth down, and smacks you in the back or in the rear, and then you run right through these guys. Then even guards can break. If you're being shot by infantry like these guys, yeah, these guys, even if Polish aren't so nice, the Polish light infantry is not so good. But like so. These guys should easily break, even guard units, if they're getting shot up by standard line infantry, rifles or something like that, light infantry, and also being shot on the side or in the rear by heavy cavalry. And also the heavy cavalry runs right through you, so yeah, the concern effect, then well, that's hell on earth for these guys, they will just break. Because they will lose morale to do not to, to yet a lot of casualties for my infant for the infantry and also well, they will lose morale for that for the cavalry short and also lose morale for the carry that's coming behind them so here's my carry surrounded right here and I think my my some of my units play a key role in the battle will not but like so my hussars play like good key role they will like so look at these artillerymen they are just running for the freaking lives these cannons have pounded much more devastating hits than me before, but my carriers took care of these bastards, so that's why. So there goes my my one of my carriers, my second carrier, but I will come with my general to avenge them because in this game you are when avenge soldiers. So I know who, what kind of soldiers these guys are aiming for, but. They're surely gonna have reckoned with, even if that's a superior line. Look at that. That's super, that nicely upgraded superior line, getting destroyed by just one Chevron upgraded rifle. So that's how powerful the rifles are, and morale disadvantage too. So you look at this. This is a long line of troops who are firing like this. If you fire all the men right here on, on these lines, it will be very devastating, but fortunately for the enemy, they are winning right there. There comes my rifleman. And now the enemy carries himself regrets here. 
Let me general and I don't care about that. I don't care. So then, yeah, it's going bad for this place right here, but like so. Okay, so I'm just gonna surround the enemy right here, like this. If the enemy doesn't do anything about this, they will lose the battle like this. So I will smash the enemy heavy cab, and like so, they are better at fighting in melee. My cab, I think, has better defense, but they are much better attack than me. So these guys, I will shoot these guys up right here. I have double teaming these guys now, and these guys are completely dead now. They just forming up for battle, like this, and back here I killed enemy general, so yeah. Well, that wasn't really a, a powerful general, but like so, that was a decisive role, I think. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this battle. This was the battle made by Gafak 5, and I should surely save this battle, because that was surely decisive action. One of my best tactical games of all. So yeah, well it's really weird to say good game to the AI. Oh my god, my puckle guns are under attack. Not now. The good game to the AI, and yeah, so my puckle guns play a huge role in the battle. Because I use them in the way I think they should be used, is a defensive way. Because then, I normally go up at the enemy, and then I just hold my ground and let the enemy come to me. So yeah, my puzzle guns were very decisive in this action right here. And that was actually pretty important for my man. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this battle. Gapak 5 here. Sooner or later I'm gonna end this battle. When all these guys have shattered. Shattered. Yeah. So yeah, heroic victory. That was epic. Um, Right there. And I'm gonna say that... Two. My God, Paul V. No, we run like that. So heroic victory. So I deployed um, one thousand two hundred eighty-eight men. And I lost 196 men, guys, and killed 1,034 men. And the enemy deployed 1,284. Four men less than me, if you don't know that. Uh, lost 1,103 and killed 139. So, yeah. So, you can see here, there are more. You know the kills? Yeah, man, these Wenkusars got really killing. Really killing machine. My puckle guns did also kill a lot of guys. Oh my god, who, who? Okay, that was my win 